a research lab at the University of Louisville where we're going to record an experiment for undergraduate physics to measure the acceleration of gravity for a falling object. So what we have here is something really simple. It's just a whiteboard with a stick in front of it that has markings that are one centimeter apart. Each of these small divisions here is one one hundredth of a meter from here to there. Here. And I have a white ball, just a styrofoam ball that you can play with. I'm going to drop it in front of that stick. To record it, on your right, I have another camera. It's a high speed camera. It records at several thousand frames per second. We'll have examples at 4,000, then 2,000, 1,000 frames per second to capture the falling object. So the way it works is I just simply drop this in front of that stick. The high-speed camera records it after I just press this little button here to enable the camera. So press the button, drop the ball, and we'll drop the ball. So we press the button, drop the ball, and then we'll go take a look. Now we're back at my computer, and the image on the screen is a sequence that I recorded just before the video that you just saw uh, that records the falling object at 2,000 frames per second. And you can see this is the, the first frame that we're going to save, and then there are, it looks like about 2,000 images at 2,000 frames per second. It all happens really fast. So I can scroll through those just by putting my mouse over this little index here and we can actually see the object fall in front of the stick like that. Each image is one two thousandth of a second after the one before it, very precisely timed. So I'm going to take these images, I'll put them into an image file that will turn into a movie. We'll put the movie on YouTube where you can look at it and when it plays back on YouTube it'll be playing back at only 24 frames per second. So you'll have 2,000 frames per second recorded, 24 playing back, and the ratio of those two numbers is how much the motion is slowed down by. And then we'll be able to analyze how the ball falls. So I'll take you over to the YouTube video in a moment, and then you'll be able to make some measurements.